Charlie heads to the quarter main gatehouse to babysit Wiley and is intercepted by Drew outside. They kiss, and he has a box with him that he hopes will help find Willow's birth parents. He managed to locate an old photo of the commune leader Joja, thanks to an associate in Arizona. He has also compiled a photographic list from databases of everyone in the area with the name Joja and hopes to one matches the photo. Inside, Willow is nauseous after another round of chemo. When Wiley asks to go sledding, Michael explains mommy isn't feeling well and that they have another doctor's appointment today. The boy screams that she's always at the doctor's office and wants to go sledding now. Carly and Drew enter and witness Wiley's meltdown. Michael takes Wiley to his room for a 30-minute timeout and then apologizes to his mother and Drew. Carly says Wiley being jealous of the new baby is normal. Drew reveals he has good news and has a possible lead on a connection to Willow's birth parents. Willow can't believe her birth family could still be out there and thanks them both for their help. Michael and Willow head out, and Drew tells Carly it's time to get to work on the photos. Carly and Drew begin to look through the files of the different Jojas, but none appear to be a match to the old photo of the commune leader. Drew excuses himself when he gets a call from Aurora. Carly looks through more of the files and finds a match to a Joja Black. Carly swipes the file and shoves it in her purse when Drew returns and catches her. She quickly says she was just going for her lip balm as her lips were dry. They get back to the photos, and Drew doesn't understand how if someone's baby went missing that they didn't file a police report. Carly says their theory that Harmony kidnapped Willow is just a theory and maybe something else happened. Carly suggests to Drew that they take a break and come back to this with fresh eyes. She reminds him that he gave her a key for Christmas and they should use it to get away and be alone. Drew says he sees wisdom in this plan, and they kiss. Carly excuses herself to check on Wiley, and Drew makes a call to his friend in Arizona who got him the photo. He explains he hasn't found the right Joja yet so he asks him to question every Joja in the area until he finds the right one. In Britt's office, Cody asks her to hear him out, and she'll never have to see him again, so she agrees. He admits when he first met her at the Metro Court that he had no interest in her. However, when he learned about her father, that's what got his attention. He knew Faison and his father had dealings, and he thought she may have inherited some of his father's things through Faison. She more or less knew all this and asks what the point of this confession is. He admits he was wrong, and his agenda was messed up, but he began to have genuine feelings for her. He hopes she will give them a second chance. Britt says there is a part of her that wishes they could get back what they were beginning to have, but she can't do it. Cody asks why she keeps saying she can't and asks what is keeping them from trying to see how good they could be together. She cries they weren't meant to be, and maybe if things were different. He understands and knows he made too many mistakes. Britt tells him for the record, it means a lot that he came to her. She says goodbye and walks out. Brooke Lynn arrives at the hospital and Maxie rushes up to her. Brooke Lynn advises Maxie not to hug her as she thinks she's sick. She's hoping to see a doctor. Maxie offers to wait with her. They sit down and Maxie already knows she and Chase have broken up and wonders what she did. Brooklyn fills her in her mistakes off-camera. Maxie suggests Chase may come around, but B.L. Key knows he won't. She thinks this weird sickness is karma for what she did to him. Maxie feels her forehead and says she doesn't have a fever and thinks she's not sick, she's in love. Brooklyn says this is the hardest she's ever taken a breakup and the guilt she feels about what she did to Chase is killing her. She wonders if she's never been really in love before this, and ponders if Chase is in love with her too. Maxie thinks if he isn't, he at least cares about her a lot. Maxie tells her the only thing she can do is fight to win Chase back. After their appointment, Michael takes Willow to the nursery and tells her soon their perfect baby girl will be in there, and then they'll take her home. He promises her the four of them to have a long life ahead of them and asks her not to lose sight of that. Chase arrives at the Metro Court and gets a message from Dante about his scheduled review board hearing at the end of the second quarter of 2023. 
Nearby, Sasha and Gladys have lunch and Gladys thanks her for the Christmas gift. Diamond Earrings Sasha tells her all about Brando's bike, helping to save a pregnant woman and baby on Christmas.